What's up you guys and welcome back to the vlog. Today's video is all about my eldest's second birthday. I have a two-year-old. Eliam is two. We just celebrated his birthday. And then we have a newborn. So Aggie just turned two months also a few days ago. And it's been a hectic, crazy, fun, overwhelming, beautiful journey so far. And today, I'm gonna share with you guys the preparations naman for Eliam's second birthday and how we were able to pull this off even though we were super busy and we had a new baby at home. Let's go! I saw this meme recently and parang pag sabi niya, when people ask me what parenting is like, it's like riding a unicycle while holding groceries and the kitchen is on fire. <laughs> it's that kind of crazy balancing act where everything just seems like chaos and then you get few peaceful moments in between. It's actually a lot of adjustment. So for the past few weeks, what we've really been focusing on is trying to adjust Eliam to having another baby in the home. And I was talking to one of my mentors and my counselors recently and she told me really good job now for putting together a party for Eliam because at two years old it's the very sensitive vulnerable part of his childhood where his brain is really developing and having a new baby at home really affects a toddler and so by throwing him that birthday party it made him feel secured and affirmed that he is still very much loved even though there's a new baby at home so I think it's really just that my intentions and my mind Mindfulness and my thinking has been in the past few weeks thinking about how do I care for both kids but also how do I make both children feel as loved as possible? You know, spending time with Eliam, making sure that his needs are met, and then also spending time a lot with our newborn, Aggie, and making sure her needs are met and making her feel loved as well has been that. And also trying to make sure that my marriage is happy and healthy and that I take showers every day and that I eat full meals and that we have a home that's being fixed and clean cleaned and it's running and also trying to work in between and have a social life so yes it's been wonderful <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him. I can hear a little bit. Yeah, you can hear him in the background. He has been the best kuya ever through Persia. But I will not lie and tell you that it has been perfect. It's been an adjustment, as I've mentioned earlier. But the funny thing is, with Eliam, he's so angry. He's so angry. He's so angry. He's so angry. He's so And she, he would squish her face. And to be fair naman to my daughter, she is very, very cute and has really squishy cheeks. So to, to be fair to Eliam, pala, it's, that's what's been happening. Um, but more than anything, I've really been trying to teach him to be involved in taking care of Aggie so that he feels like, you know, he, he doesn't feel like I'm isolating him or I'm isolating Aggie from him. So, for example, that looks like when I'm changing her diapers, I ask him to throw the diaper. But that has led to my license being lost and we have a theory that I'm not supposed to run. And t-shirts, clean t-shirts being found inside the garbage can. So, it might just be that. And it also means like asking him to help give Aggie a bath or making sure that he says good Good morning or that Adi says good morning to him and things like that so he's been a great kuya It's actually funny. We have always known that Eliam's birthday party, second birthday party, will be at Jollibee. Because a little after his first birthday, I kid you not, the story of him being introduced to Jollibee is not even him eating Jollibee first. It was us eating Jollibee. And at that time, I didn't have to solid food. So, puro mga foods that I would just create at home. Because he was just a little over one. And then at that time, once and I had merienda in Jollibee. Tapos, Niyo mga parang statue sa labas. Elian saw it, and I kid you not, he was just instantly drawn to it, and he was just like, he was pointing at it, and he was so happy. So parang once and I talk that okay, let's let him try the jolly spaghetti, let's let him try the chicken joy and burger steak, and you know eventually we introduced him to the foods, and then he finally got to try the chocolate sundae and things like that, and he has been obsessed obsessed with it. The area that we live, there's a Jollibee, you know, with a big sign. Na sa 
pass talaga. Yung parang mga nakasign na ganun. And every time we pass by that road, he would always say Jollibee. It has gone from BB to Jabby to Jollibee now that he can say it properly. So I contacted his Ninang Rona to help me coordinate with it. And it was super easy because after Adirona fixed everything, Kiara just went to the store to go over everything. I just told them what I wanted. And then we just showed up on the day. It was super duper easy. I think if you want to have a birthday party and you have a new baby at home, having a Jollibee birthday party is the best bet that you have. Because you have everything there already. The program's there, the cake's there, the toys, the giveaways are there, and then the food's there, and then everyone's is gonna have fun. And ang galing, na-appreciate ko actually yung I told them we have more adults coming than kids. So I asked for more adult games than kids games and that's what they did. So that's all the preparation that I did. So my son is a very diesel type of guy. Like he's not the type of person that's just like ta to your face. Eliam is very, you know, feels the room and just like observes a little bit. So he warms up a little bit. And when we got to the party, and daming tao, we had like a little over a hundred guests, diba? So and dami pong na cancel sila kayo na yun. Kasi and dami na nagkasakit. A lot of the kids weren't there. Even at the Rona, the Nina who helped me fix it wasn't there. But we had a lot of people there already. And of course, the music was loud and all these things. So he was just observing at first. But then eventually when he warmed up, he was super happy. I think it was such a perfect day. You know, when we were going home from the party, I was selling lunch. This was such a perfect perfect day because the party was amazing. Like we had the absolute best fun ever with our friends and our family and that we really saw na na-enjoy talaga ni ni Jollibee tuloy ni Eliam si Jollibee at na-meet niya na yung hero niya in person Our favorite food ni Eliam it varies from Jolly Spaghetti with Chicken Joy or Burger Steak ako kasi favorite din yung Burger Steak so pinatry ko sa kanya and he absolutely enjoyed it Ako, personally, na emotional ako nung nakita ko si Eliam dancing with Jollibee because it just made me realize how big my baby was already. And you can see his personality. He's extroverted. He's a fun personality. He's very confident, well-adjusted. And when they're babies, you kind of just try your best to make sure that they feel loved and cared for, right? But you don't really know what you're doing kasi wala naman pa silang response kundi to sleep and to nurse. That's it. But then to see him actually interact with people the way that he did, and to have the confidence to step up and dance in front of everyone knows that he feels secure. Because he was a long time ago and we were just watching Jollibee. And he pushed me and he started dancing with Jollibee which gives me the message that he feels like he can do that. And I want my kid to do that. So I felt really emotional during that time. And even when we were singing him happy birthday and also when we were giving our message. But it was a joke because my husband and then we gave a message so umurong yung luha mo <laughs> papalik <laughs> hindi niya nawala laman yung so so para na lang sa friends and family ko yun but alam niyo naman si Juan so he's the funnier one between the two of us so alright you guys so hopefully you got a little bit of an idea kung paano gawin yung birthday party ng mga anak niyo at syempre how to adjust to a life with two kids of a toddler and a newborn <laughs> Naririnig niyo siya sa background, di ba? I just wanna say thank you once again to Jollibee for making my baby's birthday dream come true. It was an absolute blast and the best birthday party we've had. Really, even better than the first one kasi yung first, syempre sobrang baby niya pa. Kami lang yung nag-enjoy talaga but this time around, we got to see him have fun and naging bida talaga siya nung araw na yun. So thank you, Jollibee. Thank you, of course, also to Ninang Rona who helped us coordinate it. Tita Kiara, who was also the main girl during that time and of course our friends and our family for coming to Arwin and to Luke for covering it for the videos and the photos that you are seeing probably in this video and my message to my eldest my love happy happy second birthday I hope uh, it's ingrained to the rest of the internet your mom looks like this decent <laughs> on your second birthday baka pag napanood at naintindihan mo to Hindi na ako ganito kaganda. Wow, feeling maganda. All right. We'll see you guys on the next vlog. And if you have any questions about parenting, parenthood, motherhood that you want me to make more videos on, please do comment them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Paalam! Paalam.